Hello guys and welcome to a new playthrough. This is back in 1995. This is a game that came out it's a few years back on PC and it's just come out a couple of weeks ago on the PS4. And it's supposed to be a throwback to like the kind of like an older style of uh, survival horror game. Kind of from like the PS1 era. It's like apparently heavily influenced by games like the original Silent Hill. So yeah, back in 1995. What was going on back in 1995? We had... Bruce Springsteen, Madonna, it was way before Nirvana, there was U2, Blondie, there was music still on MTV, wait a minute, no that's 1985, but what happened in 1995 then? Oh I can't even remember, I don't think Bowling for Soup covered that year, lazy, absolutely lazy. So I don't know too much about this game, I saw a trailer for it, and <laughs> the the graphics are kind of, yeah, they they look like they were set around the sort of time period of the PS1, maybe a bit worse actually, but I'm hoping that this has a real classic survival horror feel, so I'm going into it with quite high hopes is what I'm saying, and hopefully we'll get a laugh or two out of it, who knows, like I said I've never played it before, but I'm going to check the options before we start anyway, as always. Uh, yes, we'll, we'll have it in English, CRT effect, soft, ooh, what? No, I don't want to overwrite that, what the fuck? Uh, oh, oh yeah, well, that looks better. Hard. The CRT effect is well hard. Now, we'll have it off. There we go. Smooth. With a capital, smoo. All right, new game. Ooh, old style loading screen. That reminds me of Overblood. Throw the warped code out. Of course, put it in the recycle bin. Retallica Games. So, um, yeah, I've only seen like a bit of gameplay of it, and also I read some people were complaining about the controls on it, I've read on a review. And I'm going to guess, before I even start playing, it's probably because um, I bet it uses tank controls like all the classic survival horrors. And a lot of these young whippersnappers, they, they don't like the tank controls, but of course I kind of grew up in that era of the tank controls with the Silent Hill ones, the Resident Evil ones, and the Overbloods, of course. <laughs> Gotta throw Overblood in there when you're talking about the best games ever. So that's the tower. Guess I'll make my way there. <laughs> well, it's got the bad voice acting down. That was almost as bad as, like, text-to-speech. And here I am again, in this forgotten place. How much time has passed since the unholy mess, I wonder. All this time, I've been trying to move on. But as such as I try, it just feels like I'm treading water. That tower. Only there can I finish this. Yeah, I mean, I guess to have a classic survival horror old school feel, you have to have bad voice acting, so I guess they've got that down. Can't make a survival horror with good voice acting. Use the left stick. No, I'm going to use the D-pad, like old school. Yeah, tank controls. I knew it. Tank controls to Major Tom. Right, uh, can I run? Doesn't seem to be that I can run. <laughs> uh... All right, well that's menu. Can we get rid of these side panels? Is there a thing to do that? What is what's on this system? Uh, oh, just CRT and volume. All right, I guess the side panels stay. Uh, all right. So, yeah, maybe we can run later. I I don't know. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to walk the whole game. It's gonna be a walking simulator. Hmm. All right. Well, let's uh go around and just like press X on everything. Ooh, is that a health drink? Painkillers. Though it, it's very Silent Hill 1, isn't it, the way they come up? You watch, I'm going to call them health drinks all the way through. Anything in this bin? No? Yeah, I'm going to call them health drinks and I don't even care. So if you're making an indie game like this, like, um, and you're watching, I'll do voice acting for your game for free and I'm sure I can do a better job than, uh, Whoever did the voice acting for this, Mr. Text to Speech Guy. Oh, what the fuck? What the hell is that? Yeah, what the hell is that? It's, like, seriously, what the fuck is that? Uh, can I get in here? It's locked. I need a key, okay. Oh, Jesus! It kind of looks like a roast chicken. Uh, I'm out of here. I'll give it a name. It's a Quagar. Double A, actually. Right, another health drink. 
I'm going to apologise in advance because in games like this you tend to... Oh, what's this? A pipe wrench. Oh my god, it's like a bootleg pipe of justice. The pipe of uh, judgment. Yeah, it's like this game's knockoff. So, what is it, square? What the actual fuck? It's like... <laughs> it's like he's punching in out of space. What the hell is... Oh my god, I thought Jennifer in Rule of Roses attack was bad. Oh my god. Yeah, I was going to say, I apologise if you hear me like spamming X, but in games like this, like you, you don't know if there's anything knocking about, so I'm like, literally walking up to everything and pressing X, so that might come through, and I do apologise in advance. Alright, let's test out the combat on this Quagar. Double A, actually. Pipe of Judgment. Oh shit, because Pipe of Justice is copyrighted by the Silent Hill Corporation. Oh my god, how many? Three hits to take down a Quagar. Double A, actually, with the Pipe of Judgment. Pipe of Justice will get it done in one. Alright, 44. I'm going to use a health drink. Yeah, it's like he's attacking underwater, which I don't... That's another thing. You know when people say, like, if you're underwater and a shark comes towards you, the best thing is to punch it in the nose? That's ridiculous. Punching underwater has got to be, like, the hardest thing ever. Oh, God, a Quagar. Alright, let's do this without getting hit. So it's three hits, there's one. Uh, uh. Right, so they make a noise and they attack. Oh shit. Okay. That's two. So when they make the noise, after they do their attack, I'm gonna use the pipe of judgment. And yeah. Take that, you Quagar. You Quagar bastard. Right, check this. Key is behind the AC unit on the roof. Oh, I thought I checked behind that. Maybe it magically appears now. Right, what else is going down in this room? Anything? Anything good? No? I'd say the graphics are, you know you know me, I'm not really, you know, I don't care about graphics or whatever. The graphics are, though it's aimed for the sort of, uh, can I go down there? No. Can't use my epic attack either. Though it's aimed for the sort of time period of like Silent Hill 1 and stuff, the graphics are a bit... Like Silent Hill 1's got better graphics than this is what I'm trying to say. Not that that's a problem. Not that it's a problem. As long as it can uh, recreate some, like, you know, nostalgic moments for me. Right, so... Behind this then, I guess? Is this... Check, yeah. I swear I looked there before. Okay. So, yeah, there was that... One of those doors was locked, wasn't it? So let's go check it out. Yeah, man, like I say, I'll do voice acting for free, you know. Well, you know, give me a fiver or something. Some, some like, you know, transport money. And, yeah, okay, cool. I can definitely do better than, like, you know, the text-to-voice, text-to-speech guy. Oh, a phone. Hello, 444. One, voice message. <laughs> Mr. Nolan North over here. Give that man an Oscar. I believe him. I believe his performance. Ah, oh, so you finally come to. Where am I? Right, so... Bootleg Dr. Kaufman over here. I woke up lying on a hospital bed. A man who calls himself GP said he took care of me after I passed out on the roof. Wonder if those are his initials. As for how I got to the roof, I haven't the foggiest. They could actually be his job title. GP. A doctor. Hmm. He's a, that much of a jobs worth. He insists on us calling him his job's name. The monster I saw, he says, they just showed up one day and started attacking everyone. Oh, and to stay away from the roof. He says it's pretty bad up there, which is why he's barricaded himself in the top floor. Smart man, bootleg Kaufman. I like your style. Or GP. I told him I wanted to go to the tower and that if things were this bad, I just needed another way. GP says that all the buildings in the city were connected via wire, which were used by survivors to send each other supplies until help arrived. Unfortunately, the wires seem to be down. Just my luck. This is why buildings should go wireless. <laughs> so buildings are connected by wires. So GP looked at me and said, for now, go to the roof and check on the AC unit. Again? Is that really a priority? 
Wait, so I've just woke up from, like, passing out, and you're sending me on, like, an errand? What the? Okay. You sure you're a doctor? Head to the roof and check on the outdoor AC unit. Take a left as soon as you're out on the roof. It'll be in the very back. If you need a weapon, grab that wrench next to the bed. I prescribe busy work for your concussion. Well, wow, fucking hell. Alright, health drink. Well, I've already got a, a wrench. Can I take this one as well and dual wield? Double pipe of judgment? No? Ah, oh, man. Okay, well, whatever. We can't go Kratos then. Oh, what the fuck? What's this? Do you? Oh, a save point. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yep. A motion sensor computer. It turns on when you walk past it. More up to date than uh, Resident Evil using typewriters. Here we are using Windows 95. Right. I think that's everything in here. I wonder if Bowling for Soup, you know, the 1985 song, I wonder if they intended to do all the years, like a song for all the years, and then they just thought, ah, fuck it. Ooh, coffee. It's out of service, but I want coffee. How about some frigging coffee? Elevator's out of service. Everything's out of service. We need Otis. This door seems to be broken. For fuck's sake. Okay, and there's loads of crap on the stairs, which is a fire hazard. All right, before I go to the roof... Aha! Toilets! Alright. Uh. <laughs> can we go for a piss? <laughs> no. Okay. Had to check. It's ninety ninety five. People don't go for pisses back then. Oh, what the fuck? What the hell? Kojima, is that you? Was someone videoing me in the toilet? That is weird. Oh. Someone shout out a painkiller or a health drink. I'll take that. That's some good shit. Literally. Right. I'm going to go check out the girls' toilets because there's no one around. And I've always wondered what's in there. <laughs> what you got? Oh. Oh, another broken door. Well, that's sexist. What if a girl needs to go to a toilet like a female NPC? Tough shit. Hmm. That being said, right? I used to work, years ago, I worked at a cinema, and one of the jobs I had to do was uh, obviously cleaning the toilets occasionally. And you had to go in and clean the, the women's toilets and stuff when we were closed, or before we opened. Their toilets are way better than the men's toilets, let me tell you, fellas. They, in the cinema, anyway, that I worked at, they even had a, a like a, a couch in there. A couch? I don't know. Right, there's loads of Quagars down here. Okay. One of these, then, I guess. Ah, there we go. Turn the AC system on. That'll do it. Time to go back to the dock. Is he an actual doctor, though? It does seem a bit suspect. Like, so, I pass out, probably hit my hand on the way down, have a concussion, wake up in his practice. Wait, was it this way? Wait a minute, what's this way, then? Yeah, so I wake up in his office, and it isn't time to go there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, the game doesn't want me to do that. Fine, whatever. Yeah, I wake up in his office. He's like, oh, you've had a concussion. I prescribe you a uh, side quest. Oh, okay, brilliant. That'll help with the concussion. Great. Not going to question whether you're a doctor. And, uh, oh, what, what's this side quest? Go turn the AC on. I'm, I'm, I'm hot. What? You want me to risk my life with all the Quagars? Double A, actually? Because you're hot? What's the next quest? Get you a fucking drink? Some Fanta, maybe. Maybe some ice. You all done? Ah, got one more task for you. Here we go, fetch me a beverage. Just as I thought I was free, GP hit me with another favour. I need these documents, you see, and I'm way too old to get them. He seemed apologetic, but I was taken aback. Yeah, I would be. This guy is not a doctor. Like, literally, he is definitely not a doctor. I mean documents at a time like this, he went on. Go left once you're on the roof and you'll see the emergency stairwell. Use it and you should be able to get into the lower floors. Oh, am I alright to use the emergency stairwell? Oh, of course, it is a fucking emergency, isn't it? You need your documents. The stairs on this floor were blocked by a bunch of lockers, probably to keep monsters out, which means it's not safe down there. I asked the old man, are those documents really that important? He just nodded in silence. 
guess I have no choice. <laughs> Apart from you massively do have a choice. You know, you could, like, not do it. Like, what's the consequences? Like, seriously. We'd just smack him. Oh. Probably should have saved before trying to kill him. Not that, not that I'm really swinging the pipe of judgment or whatever the fuck I'm calling it. Uh, with much force. I have a feeling that, like, if a fly landed on his nose and I did that little swing at him on his face, it wouldn't even kill the fly. It's that slow. Though three hits to kill a Quagar. Double A, actually. Not too bad. This carpet is horrendous. I know that's a bit of a random thing to say, but it really is. Okay, so I guess now we can go... So the, I'm guessing the emergency stairwell is in the direction of where it said to us, Oh, you can't go this way yet, or, or whatever. Well, I hope so, because I don't know where else we can go. Yeah, I am convinced, though, that that doctor, the bootleg Kaufman, is not really a doctor. The fact that his name's GP, which is obviously, uh... I don't know why I even tried the elevator. Yeah, alright, fine, it's out of service, I get it, Jesus. Um, what about this? It's locked, maybe for... Okay, so I need key. Go away, Quagar. I can't believe you can't run. Yeah, anyway, uh, so bootleg Kaufman, right? Tells us to call him GP, which is his supposed... Oh, God. That Quagar's merging through the wall. It's his imaginary job title, right? Think about it. Oh shit, two of them. Can I get round? Yeah. It's like that fast walking they do, you know, like in uh, Malcolm in the Middle, like the Halders. <laughs> right, I will finish this thought. If you were a fake doctor, right, and someone said to you, what's your name? You're like, are you a doctor? Yeah, sure. All right then. What's your name? My name? Um, G... P... It's like if you were pretending to be a bartender and someone goes, What's your name, then, if you're a real bartender? My name? Oh, it's, um... Bud... Chardonnay. Yes. <laughs> it's like, come on, man, if you're going to pretend to be a doctor, at least make a, you know, a, a proper name that we can believe. Oh, is that a gun? Wow, a gun. Aim with R1 and shoot with square. Okay. Well, I'll take that. I can only imagine how bad the gun's going to be. Right. Okay. Can I reload it from here? Do I have to manually reload it? Oh, save point. Okay, right, we'll save then, and then I'm going to test this gun out, because I, I need to know, like, how this works. <laughs> Hopefully there's some enemies nearby. Some Quagars. Double A, actually. No. Nothing around here. They have this horrible carpet everywhere, don't they? Ooh, what, what carpet would you like? I'll order the shit brown. Lots of shit brown everywhere. Because that's not depressing. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've heard of shitty carpets. This is ridiculous. Ooh, what's this? 437. I might write that down quickly. Even though it's not that. Whoa, Quagar. Alright, Quagar. You're about to become victim of, of Gunny here. Right. Uh, oh, shit. You have to reload. Okay. It, God. It looks like you ha you can't reload in the menu, which I guess is kind of realistic, but... Oh, my God. Woo. Oh, okay. Two bullets to kill a Quagar, so it's not much better than the wrench, really. Got four. And six. So I've got ten bullets left in all. All right. I don't know how hard ammo is to come by, so I'm going to use the wrench, because the Quagars aren't really that difficult to take down. I don't want to waste bullets on a Quagar, then there turns out to be, like, harder enemies. Ugh. Um, oh, this is a bad camera angle. I've got to say, right, again, uh, you know, the, the the floor and the walls are all kind of, like, moving and they're, they're warped. I don't know how to describe it. It is warped. Like, I get that you're trying to recreate an older survival horror game, but, the, and again, I'm not one for graphics. You know, I like good graphics, but it's not a be-all and end-all. All right, four, three, seven. Okay, I've wrote that down. But look at the floor, like, right now. I mean, you know, maybe you could have spent five more minutes on the graphics. But anyway, yeah, I'm not, not slagging. Not slagging it off, you know. It seems okay so far. It's got the bad voice acting. It's it's keeping me entertained, let's just say. But, yeah. Uh, right. Like, look at that. Look at that skirting board. That's mental. <laughs> That's absolutely mental. Oh, okay, right, enough, enough. I only paid £7.99 for it, so, you know, if I wanted good skirting boards, I could have, um, spent money on a higher-priced game. Uh, at least this game lets us have a, a, a pipe of, of judgement and kill multiple roast chicken 
warriors known as the Quagars. Double A's. Double A, that's how you spell it. And, uh, you know, what more can you ask for for seven ninety nine? Right. Ooh, what's up here? Nothing. There's a herb over there. I want it. Right. So, 437. I wrote that down. Uh, right. Yeah, I've got a little notepad with me, as always, for these sorts of games. A vending machine that says 1995 on it. Yes. Because, as you know, whatever year we are in, we have that on all our vending machines. Do you, I'm going to the 2019 vending machine. Do you want anything? <laughs> That's a good idea, though. You could have, like, retro vending machines, like 1980s vending machines. Oh, okay, here we go. So this is where we use the code. So 437. Yeah, so you can have a 2019 vending machine where we have all, like, the, the present-day snacks in. And then you could have, like, a 19... Like, I don't know, 90 vending machine where it has all snacks that have been discontinued. That's a good idea. I'm going to go on Dragon's Den with that. That's a good idea. Right, what's this? A newspaper clipping. Okay. Dr. Randall holds key to solving world's energy problem. Dr. Randall from the UK 1K Foundation's research lab proved the existence of being beyond the third dimension. She also said the following about her next research. See, that's a real doctor name, Dr. Randall. Like, you know, the, uh, GP could have put more effort in. The latest data suggests that our world was only two dimensions until just recently. Will it turn into four? Concepts like recently and hereafter exist on a time axis that is unrecognisable by us. R right, okay, yep. Good. Good, Dr. Randall. Not rambling at all. Oh, cool. Painkillers. Yep. Or health drinks, sorry. I'm, I'm calling them health drinks. Right. There's a note written in the whiteboard. In the whiteboard? That's a bit extreme. Why not write it on the whiteboard? It's that important. Top sales this month. Number one, Sam Miles, Jake Old, Jensen O'Field. The winner will receive a pay bonus. Hope they saw this note because it was written in the, the whiteboard. Right, just making note. Okay. I don't know if that's going to be important. Uh... I mean, it's got to be, right? Like, um, you know what, actually? Hmm. Does it appear in the log? It doesn't appear in the log, so I am going to have to, like, keep making notes. I've got five health drinks. All right. Okay. Uh, you know what? Because I wrote it shorthand. I wrote it shorthand. I'm just going to take a picture of it on my phone. And I'll just do that from now on. Okay. So, yeah. Th that way then, if any of this sort of... I know it's 1995 and I shouldn't be taking pictures because I'm sure there weren't camera phones in 1995. In fact, I don't think... No, I know there wasn't. There was cameras. I could have took a Polaroid back then. But, yeah. I'm going to be using 2019 strats to keep track of my notes. I apologise. Right. Let's go up this... Ramp or poorly rendered stair. <laughs> Wheelchair accessible. I like it. Even in 1995, this corporation, wherever we are. Oh, it's a hospital, isn't it? What the fuck are those? Some sort of slug things. Uh, right. All oh, right. Okay, they go down in one, so they're no big deal. Yep. Pipe of judgment. Because Piper Justice is copyrighted by Konami. Yeah, we'll just clear this corridor out. This is my corridor. This is Kent's domain. That is the name, right? Yeah, Kent. <laughs> Kent, the great, like, voice acting fucking legend. The future Nolan North. His performance is so convincing. I believe he's in danger. Yes, he's that good. Move over, Troy Baker. This guy's in town. And he's stealing all your jobs, all your voice acting jobs. Right. More bullets. Bullets for a pistol. Great. Oh, more bullets over there. Can I get through there? No. Alright. Looks like I can go around, though. I don't want to miss any of these. Like, if any of these filing cabinets have anything in. OK, 
Okay, yep. Cool. Anything else? I'm literally just spamming X as I walk around. Oh, something here. A key. Nice. Uh, oh yeah, there was a door downstairs, wasn't there, that was locked. Hopefully it's for that, because if not, I have no idea. I did check these, did I? Oh, there's nothing in them anyway. Alright, cool. We have a lead. 